Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Lele's Artistic Jewelry Design Channel. My name is Lele. Thank you all for visiting my channel today. Hopefully, everyone is having a great day. And all is well. First, we're going to start off by reading a blessing from out of my book of blessings. That's how I always start my videos now. And hopefully, you will have get a blessing from the reading and pass it on. So let's begin before we begin the project. Let's start off by saying, But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest. For he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Comes from Luke. Luke 6, 35. Luke chapter 6, verse 35. And the blessing from that is, O Lord, your gift of love is often distorted in this world of ours. You are the source of the only perfect love we will ever know. Thank you, Lord, for abiding in us and helping us love ourselves and others on this day lord i pray that you will draw near to anyone who is feeling unloved may they accept your unconditional love so they will know what true love is hopefully this blessing reaches out to someone that needs it that needs to know that god is love and that they are loved and if this blessing reaches you, please pass it on. And may you be blessed today. And may you be a blessing to someone else. This concludes our blessing reading for today. We are going to be making a necklace from the bargain bead box. From the month of March and as you see here we have these right here and let me see if I still have that bag it is from the budding romance collection okay so this is the bees that is coming from except for these right here these come from the other subscription from bargain bead box but the rest it's from Bargain Bead Box. So, these right here. Let me just use the. These right here is the 8 millimeter. No, these are the 10 millimeters. Right there. And these are the smallest ones right here. These are the 4 millimeter. Faceted Malaysia Jades, and these are the 10, no, these are the 8 millimeter Malaysia Jades, and these are the lavender ones. Faceted, that is 4 millimeters, these right here. Okay, and in between we have some little gold seed beads that is 2 millimeters, and these come from my beads and stones box that link will be in the description below these come from the bargain bead box as well the flower spacers gold tone flower spacers and i have some gold tone flower bead caps on there okay here we have some gold tone um crimp beads we're going to be using I have it on my bead tray right here to help me. And right here we also have the pendant that comes from the collection as well. Okay, I have it on my magic rods that I got from Misty Moon channel, Miss Luisha. I'll have her link in the bottom as well. Okay, so we're going to be using some 
gold beading wire for my beads and stone um, subscription box. So I've already got everything already beaded up. You know to save us some time there. So we're going to measure some beads off here. I'm going to start off this 12. And do about 24. Now 24, 26. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bead off the spool. Okay, so we're going to do this off the spool here. I think I'm going to start with the one that's already loose here. So this is what we have. That's on the, the rods. We have the four millimeter, four millimeter lavender rondelles. We have the eight millimeter faceted bees, okay? Glass bees, the gold flower spacers, the gold seed bees in between. So we're gonna start off Putting it on like this, I'm not gonna crimp off any ends right now. This is gonna go directly onto my spool. That way I don't waste any material. So we got a little small go with spacer bee here. Lavender faceted beads, another gold spacer bead, they're so tiny you barely see them, the red faceted rondelles, Four millimeters. Another gold spacer bead. Did I forget? Yep, I forgot. A spacer bead. I thought I had put that spacer bead on there. It's easy to just pick it up with my finger like that. the spacer bead as you all can see I have no fingernails I had to clip them off because they were getting in the way and they started bending and curving like tiger nails start creating a hazard for me to do my jewelry so I clipped them all down trying to regrow them back out so now I have to let my fingernails breathe and regrow them. This time I'll just have them at active length. 
instead of trying to grow some daggers. If this is the type of content you like, please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. Share it with someone. Subscribe to the channel. Also leave a comment in the comic section. Just a friendly hello. Say, hey, Lele, how you doing? I'll respond back. Even if you thought that the um, blessing reading was something that you enjoyed. I hope it was a blessing to someone. Okay, we're just stringing along here. And also hit that notification button. So the next time I drop a video, you will be notified. Whether it's unboxing or jewelry making. It's going to be a lot of different techniques that I'm going to be incorporating this year. Hello, my subscribers. Hopefully, y'all are doing well. Okay, now we have a bead cap here. So, we're finna change up the pattern. Bead cap, put it in backwards. So, that can lay that way. That way, your bead will, will rest inside of the cap. So now we have the big faceted bead. Okay, and now another bead cap, gold bead cap. another flower bead cap or bead spacer I just take that off the rod of the seed bead let me see here. Okay, now we need another bead cap. Nope, let's put that. We gotta do. Some Rondells here. Looking at my example over here since everything came off my rod. So two lavender rondel, glass rondels. Then another C D. Okay. Then another facer. Another flower spacer bead. Okay, then we need flower spacer bead. We need the bead cap. Another round bead. Another bead cap. This time put it face down. Okay, now we need 
another flower spacer. Another seed bead. Let's see here. If I can get it on there. Okay. Now we need another rondelle. It's two rondelles. Need another seed bead. Oh, come on here, seed bead. And another bead cap. This time, put it face up. Large red facet of bead. So, so far, this is what we have. Okay, so I'm going to put it right here now. so you can see what I'm doing. So now we need the other bead cap. Okay, so bead cap, we got one, two, three. One, two, three. Another flower bead. Well, we're missing one right there. We gotta put one right there. Back trace and put a flower bead right there. Then put the bead cap. Then you put your bead on there. Sure, I got it right, but I don't think I do. Let's just get a CB and see. I need to put that stopper right there. Let's pick up a CB here. Okay, where it goes? There we go. Okay, then a bead cap. Then a large Mondale here, a large bead. A bead cap. Uh oh. Okay, I dropped that bead, had to get down and get it. Okay. Things like that happen. Bead cap. Let me see if it's, I think that don't go right there. Okay, nope, that don't go right there. The thing needs to stay uniform here. Okay. Attention to detail is always important. Okay. 
ามเธอนาวดอนนี่ the flower spacer I'm gonna put a bit gold spacer right there because okay, this is gonna be our focal right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get some jump rings here. See what size I need. So we got an eye pin here. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to put it on the pendant. like that and I'm gonna close it back get it back straighten out here Put the little rosette there. We're going to see how that looks. Gonna be our focal. Let's see. I'm just going to wrap it a little bit.
but just one little wrap in there. Straighten that up some. Okay, now we're going to put, got to make sure I got it on there right. Let's hold this one down. Hold it like that. to make sure this is just right. Okay, let's put the jump ring on it. Now, let me scoop my materials over some. I'm gonna fish the pendant on, so that's where I pinned it. I always use them. 
Okay, let's see if I got it on right. Yep, it's on right. Okay. Now we're going to need another gold bead. Okay, we got another big silver bead. That on. Okay, now let's do the other one. Take that stuff for all. And I'm going to finish the rest off camera and I'll be back. Okay, we're going to put on the finishing touches. So I got it all strung up now. So we're going to put on some curtain beads. the crimp bead on the jump ring forgot my wire guard so let's get out some wire guards Push it through there. You see that ring wants to drop down. I'm going to have to get it back up through where it needs to belong up through the wire guard. Come on, Mr. Jump Ryan. Right. 
Yeah, yeah. You can just come on back down. So easy. First, this got to go up through here. I don't know what this jump ring call itself doing. Here we go. I'm gonna fish it. Back down through here, through the crimp bead. What I like to do, I just like to scoot the beads up to it. Sorry about that, didn't mean to be directly in your face. Come on, beads. Get with the program here. Okay. First thing first, make sure this is not crisscrossing. Sometimes it's so hard to see that. Okay. Then I want it to come back up through. This bead right here, try to get it through as many of them as I can. Probably just one more. So let's see. that up some the crimp bead it's a tiny crimp bead but it's a crimp bead and I'm just trying to make sure this joke is not crisscrossing this up my way here okay see what that's up let's get the crimp so we're gonna put it in that back tooth right there
It's so little, I can barely see it. See if I can pull it out, it ain't on there secure. And to me, it's not. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna press it close. I'm just going to smash it. Now let's give it the tug test. It's in there, so that's good. Cut that off right there. jump ring came off but that's okay got a little distorted so we just get another one See that electric ring is on there. Let's take this one loose. This is our toggle. This is going to be our toggle that we're going to be using. It came from the bargain bead box. It's a pretty little toggle. Might as well stick with the flower thing. First, I got to find the opening here. opening it so really I'm just twisting to see if I can find it here we go So that one is already on there. Let's open up this one. The toggle on there. Okay. It's one side done.
that can go back in there now. Okay, now let's get this other end on. Now we get a jump crimp bead out because that one right there was just too small. I'm gonna show y'all just how tiny this jump bead crimp bead is. That's a tiny crimp bead. That's why I just smash it. I don't just try to crimp it. Oh, come on here, crimp bead. Okay, let's get the jump ring going here. The wire guard. Mm. And you will have to bring my jump ring through that. Jump frame, grunt bead rather. Now I have to. I'm far sighted, so I have to pull things back from my eyes. Pull the spacer bead up. Pull another bead up. Pull that crimp bead up some. Let's see how much wiggle room I have here. Okay, well, let's get the doing this. I'm 
just smashing the crimp bead down. Okay, it's in there snug. as possible okay now let's get the other part of this on here and we're good to go put all that over there out my way Thank God this one not win that long. Okay, let's get the toggle in there. Voila. Oh, well, let's see. That looks like, okay. I think I'll put that toggle in there a little backwards. A little backwards. Let's see what's going on here. It's still going to do what it's want to do. We'll just, we'll fix it later. But there goes the necklace. Okay, there go our necklace from the bargain bead box. Right here we have the faceted pendant, the red faceted pendant. We have the lavender faceted crystal, the rosette right here, spacer bead, four millimeter red faceted Malaysia jade. We have some rosettes right here, two gold spacer beads, bead caps, the eight millimeter bead, rosettes, some lavender rondelle glass beads from the previous bargain bead box, some gold seed beads on each side of it, and it repeats itself till it gets up here to the smaller beads. So we have the four millimeter um, red beads, we have the lavender beads right here that's four millimeter faceted with silver with gold seed beads in between a wire guard the floor toggle and it repeats itself on the other side it's a beautiful necklace hopefully you all enjoyed the video and once again thank you for stopping by my channel don't forget to give it a thumbs up on your way out and have a blessed day and I'll see you next time with another unboxing or another jewelry making video. Be blessed. Bye bye.